I'm trying to sneak into Matt's office. He's blocking us from streaming the Jays game, but I happen to know that he's testing out Google's OnHub, so I'm going to go in there and get access with my app. Can I help you ah! with something? What are you doing here? I was waiting for you. I knew that you'd be trying something fishy. Okay, you caught me. But I just really want to watch the game. Can we work out some sort of deal so I can get access to the router? Hmm. By now, you've probably heard about Google's OnHub router. You know, it's that Wi-Fi hub that's supposed to be easy to set up, and you're supposed to display in your home like some sort of fancy vase. We wanted to know if this router was useful to a business, so we put it to the test ourselves. OnHub's setup process is simple. Pair the hub with your smartphone, make sure it's close enough to hear the frequency emitted by the speaker. In an office without 150 different wireless connections taxing the network, Google's OnHub did admirably. In fact, we replaced three Apple routers with this one router and had no issues. The range on the OnHub has also proven excellent. OnHub is outfitted with 13 antenna, 12 for sending and receiving data, and one for evaluating network congestion. It also automatically decides what channel to assign to a client, and whether they should connect to the 2.5 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz network. Look at the app to see what device is using the most bandwidth, and if you want to, give it higher priority. Businesses will appreciate some extra security features not normally found on consumer routers. The OnHub's trusted platform module prevents it from booting if the firmware has been tampered with. A quick look at the app will also tell you what version of the firmware is currently installed. And if you do need support, Google issues you a one-time code through the app to authenticate your identity. Yet OnHub has many limitations that a business might not be able to accept. The one USB port isn't active. It's just there in case you need to restore the firmware. And that means that you can't connect a printer or storage directly to this router. Also, there's no ability to use a VPN or an FTP server through this router. Setting it up as an access point was possible for us, but we really had to dig for that option. And since Google's focus is on wireless with this hub, there's only one LAN Ethernet port. That limits the use of some appliances that might require a wired connection to your router. Finally, you can't manually configure a device to always connect to the same channel or even select what frequency of network it uses. And there's no option to set up a separate guest network. At $270 Canadian, Yon Hub has a hefty price tag. If you're a small business owner that doesn't want to fuss about a Wi-Fi setup, this will be worth the money. But if your business wants a more advanced customization of your network, then this isn't the best option. Thanks for watching All Hands on Tech. I'm Brian Jackson. Okay, Matt, I'm wearing the Texas Rangers hat. My part of the deal is good. Now give me access to that hub. All right, it's done. Yes, finally, time to watch some baseball. Um, by the way, Brian, I uh, wasn't blocking content and uh, the series ended days ago. Hat flip. I'm out.